Welcome, it's Thursday morning. Today is the 21st of June 2018 in the year of our Lord. It's a pleasure to come your way every morning with the AM show. My name is Mama V. Uswabwaj. I'm here with Kojo Yang Singh this morning. Good morning, Kojo. Good morning, Mama V. Can you believe it? Only nine more days left in the month of June. Yeah. Where did it all go? Eh? I can't wait to be paid. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the feeling every day of the, of the yeah. month, including payday, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, but we want to start off, Kojo, with your motivation for us this morning. Sure, let's do that. Now, in Cape Coast, Kotokraba Market, the one product that has the most sellers is fresh tomatoes. And on the many occasions throughout my childhood that I accompanied my mother, to Kotokraba. I remember how as soon as the shoppers drew near, all the women would take samples of their wares and accost them in the aisles, hoping to entice the customers. But Auntie Mary was different. I never saw her joining the assault on customers. No, she always sat calmly behind her table with a big smile on her face because 80% of the customers came to her. Auntie Mary knew everyone by their name. As soon as my mother and I made it to her table, Auntie Mary would greet us loudly with her big smile and ask after my father and sisters as if she'd spent the whole time since our last Kotokraba visit thinking about them. She knew what meals my mother needed tomatoes for and exactly how much was needed each week. No haggling, no bargaining. They rather spent the time chatting about this and that and then she would pat me on the head and say, could you oh yeah, take your education seriously, aye and send us on our way to make room for the next customer, who she would greet with the same big smile and personal greeting. Now, of course, as an adult, I now understand what her secret was. It was attitude. Auntie Mary made you feel like you mattered to her. To her, it wasn't about tomatoes, it was about you. It was about the things you really cared about, your husband, your children, the increase in school fees and the decrease in chop money. It was about where on earth your daughter was going to find her husband. Her entire attitude was that whatever mattered to you mattered to her. And she went far above and beyond to give her customers a personal experience that they would never get anywhere else. So, why am I telling you about Auntie Mary? Well, in this world, we're all selling tomatoes. Whatever job you do, there's someone else who does it, uh, who does exactly the same thing, either right there at the next desk or in the next branch or in the next company. And ultimately, it's the best of you that will progress farthest in your careers and or grow the biggest businesses. So who is your customer? Whose money, attention or resources are you competing for? Whoever they may be, you must make them believe that you spend your time thinking of nothing but them. And when the time comes for them to choose, they will think of nobody but you. My name is Kojo Yangsen. What matters to you matters to us. Mm. Good morning, Gano. Ah, that sounds like the morning man right there. <laughs> <laughs> I love this motivation. Listen, all of you watching, I spent the entire night thinking about y'all. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have you on the AM show. We're on till exactly 9 a.m. Now, here is what to look forward to this morning on our show. If you went to the hospital today, would you know the standard of care to which you are entitled? How would you know whether the medical professionals handling your treatments are meeting or falling short of the basic levels of service you deserve as a patient. So Kojo here thought these questions should not go unanswered. So he went to the one place responsible for ensuring medical professionals are working to those standards. I'm talking about the Medical and Dental Council. So we would get to know exactly how the conversation went, how they did answer these questions uh, in that conversation. So there'll, there'll be a playback of that right there this That's right. morning here on the AM Show. Could you? Fascinating stuff. Now, yesterday we promised you an interview with the Minister of Zongo and mm. Inner Cities Development. Uh, we're going to speak to Alaji Abubakar Sadiq Boniface on the show today. Mm. Uh, and of course, uh, Mamabi will be here for that. We've yeah. got Joy News Agenda as well, haven't we? Yeah, we do. We've got Joy News Agenda, but uh, on uh, Al Haji Abu Bakr Sadiq, uh, what I didn't know yesterday really was that he was actually touring the constituency huh. because the rain uh, last Monday night had wrecked some havoc. They recorded some deaths and some injuries in the Medina constituency. So yeah. uh, we took a tour. There are some projects that need to be done, like emergency. So we'll bring you that conversation. Uh, and then Kojo will have the National Science and Math Quiz, That's our right. daily updates, which is brought to us, Ketsi, Isway Savings and Loans, 
uh, Kingdom Books and Stationery in Newmont, Ghana. So Maxwell Agbagba and Nancy Emafa Jiradosi will join us from the University of Ghana League on Live this morning. That's right. And thanks to Awake Water, we're all going to wrap up the show with some showbiz news. Yeah. All right, so uh, we'll bring you the news. We've got the newspapers as well. And in between your messages, so keep them coming in on WhatsApp and regular text messages. Uh, we'll take a breather when we come back. We've got the AM News right here on the show.